Al Sharpton is, is coming up with this theology that somehow they're equally yoked when it comes to these protesters and counter protesters. If you if you ask me, I believe that the counter protesters are defending the campus and defending their rights. When you got an invasion on campus, <coughs> people are invading, people are bludgeoning others, and the ones who pay their tuition are saying enough is enough. If the police officers aren't going to do anything, then we have to take over our campus. I don't think it's anything wrong with that. Is it against the law to defend the campus? Is it against the law? Somebody tell me if it's against the law to defend your own campus. I don't feel sorry for these people. But the thing that the thing that bothers me the most is that why do black people take the stance on this? I was looking at a I was looking at a stat where it shows Joe Biden's vote in 2020 compared to 2024. The Hispanic vote went from like plus 20 Biden to like plus five Trump. It, 30 and up or 30 and under or some, some statistic like that went from like plus 60 Biden to like plus 40 Trump or something. It, it, it wasn't that extreme, but it was, it was somewhere around that where it went from plus Biden to plus Trump. That's a huge sway. Black people went from like 80% Biden to 60% Biden. I, why? Can somebody explain to me? Why, why do, why do, our people, the people of the melanin, why do we support Palestine? Why, it, it, when I say the people of the melanin, when you go on TV and you just randomly see a black person on there, they somehow take the side of Palestine. They take the, the, the anti-Israeli side, anti-Jew side by default. I was looking at um, some girl on Instagram that, I think she got drafted to the WNBA, black girl. So I never heard of her before. So I clicked on her page to scroll through her account. And in one of the videos or one of the pictures that she had, she had a Palestinian garb on. Why? You have no connection to Palestine. Why is your default position something stupid? And the same thing with Al Sharpton. Al, why is Al Sharpton... And every other black prominent leader defaulting to being pro Hamas. It's just crazy to me. When we look at elections, when we look at voting, why are black people not 100% voting for Trump? They're the ones most negatively affected by Biden's policies. More so than Hispanics, more so than young people, more so than white. Democrats have just screwed black people over for years. And why are we slow to move away from Democrats? The brainwashing, man, is just deep. I often wonder, is it trauma from slavery? Which means that black people are susceptible to manipulation and also, I don't know, they just don't trust. I, I, I don't get it. The party that pushed corona, the coronavirus vaccine was the same party or the same government system that implemented, the, you know, when, when they were giving black people syphilis, the, the Tuskegee experiment. The government literally experimented on black people. Why do black people trust the government in a mandated vaccine? We already were vaccine injured by the government. And now all of a sudden, we, we the main ones with masks on, running around, believing the government. It's crazy to me. The government, Democrats, pushed that black people could not own firearms. The NRA had to get involved to promote the Second Amendment and that black people should be able to keep and bear arms. And now black people hate the NRA, and they support the party that want to eliminate your right to have a rifle and have self-defense and firearms. 
it just it doesn't make sense to me. The party that's actively replacing you with illegal aliens, you still questioning should you vote for that party? The Republicans are saying shut the border, protect the country, stop letting illegals in here. The Democrats are saying we're sanctuary cities. Bring as many as, as the, the Lord thy God shall be able to send. And then they, in the community, run by Democrats, taking benefits that could have been given to black people. And then you look at the money. Black folks crying about reparations. They didn't gave Ukraine $100 billion. They could have gave black people reparations with that money. The people in power that you're voting for would rather give it to Ukraine than give it to you. But you're still voting for them. The party that wants you to kill all of your children through abortion, you vote for and you advocate for. The black churches advocate for abortion. Do you not know this is the extermination of your people? They don't have abortion clinics in the white majority white neighborhoods. They don't. You want to find an abortion clinic? Find a black neighborhood. They got a few of them on the block. You want to find a liquor store? Go to the inner city. Come on. But you're still voting for the same people that advocate for the things that are destroying your own people. We got past, think about it. Martin Luther King, which every street, every city in America got a Martin Luther King Boulevard, and all the crime is committed on Martin Luther King Boulevard. But you claim that Martin Luther King is a hero, and you claim that you honor his dream, his dream is that you should be judged by the content of your character, not the color of your skin. But then you voting and supporting a party that wants you to be judged by the color of your skin and not the content of your character. Y'all can't, you can't make this stuff up. And Al Sharpton and all these men knew better. And they, to this day, they know better than what they're doing and what they're promoting. Why are we always on the wrong side of history? I'm just kind of getting fed up on it. Because, yeah, there's some black people that's smart, like me and, other, and a few others. But when you look at the, the Lord's majority of black people, we are ignorant when it comes to voting. We vote for the party that promoted food stamps and welfare that just destroyed the nuclear family in the black neighborhood. They didn't destroy the white nuclear family. They still, they, their kids are only born out of wedlock 25% of the time. Ours is like 75% of the time. We used to be 25, now we at 75. The party that thinks nothing is wrong with that is the party y'all vote for. Can I get an amen? There you go, I got one amen. Come on, man. Like, what are we even doing here? The same perplexity that I have for the church that I mentioned last week, is the sim is a similar perplexity that I have for the black community. What are we doing? We call our mixed children black. That's a white supremacist uh, tactic, and we embody it. 